Okay, everyone's seen this little problem. It's kind of big on the internet right now. Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl, and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 dates, and they're kind of aligned by month. Cheryl tells Albert separately the month and day of her birthday, respectively. So Albert knows the month, Bernard knows the date. Albert says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not know too. Bernard says, well, at first I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but now I know. And Albert says, well, then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. And this seems like it's kind of crazy, but you can actually... My paper, you can see I kind of scratched through it before, but I'm going to show you how I did that. So instead of having the dates lined up the way they were in the original problem, I have them lined up by date, so I can just kind of see them a little better. So I've got the May 15th, 16th, 19th, the June 17th and 18th, July 14th and 16th, and August 14th, 15th, and 17th. And to me, this just makes it line up a little better. Now, well, I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit. Now, it starts off by saying, well, Bernard first says, well, I don't know when her birthday is. Remember, or Albert says that. Albert says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is. Albert knows the month, but I know that Bernard does not know too. So looking at this, so if he knows that by the number date, Bernard could not know, well, you have these outliers here, the May 19th and the May 18th, where there is no other one. So if Albert knew that it was May or if it was June, he couldn't make that statement. My four-year-old's trying to peek in. So we know it can't be any of these, May or June. All right. So now we got to look at it from Bernard's perspective. So he knows it's a number. And by saying that, by saying that, Albert says to Bernard, well, I know it's not May or June, because if it were that, I could not make that statement. I could not make that statement that I know Bernard does not know. So going back to Bernard's point of view, well, now we know he knows that it's either the 14th, 15th, the 16th, or 17th. But based on what Albert says, Bernard says, well, I didn't know, but now I do know. So what does that tell us from here? Well, it tells us it can't be one of these two. Because if he knew it was the 14th, based on what Albert said, he still wouldn't know what the day was. So we know that it's either, that it's not the 14th. So that means we can eliminate these two dates. So now we're down to these two. Now the last statement is, Albert says, well, now I know what it is too. So if he knows that Bernard knows what the date is, how is Albert also going to know what the day is? Well, if it's August 15th or 17th, and Bernard says, well, I know what the day is. Albert can't turn around and say, well, I know what the day is too, because that hasn't really given him any more information. So the only way that that could actually happen is if it's July 16th. So that's your answer. So you kind of have to extrapolate the answer based on what information you're given, based on what the other person says from the perspective of the person listening, if that makes sense. So the answer to that question is July 16th. Ta-da!